Goalie Zach Driscoll, fresh off his final college season at North Dakota, starting in net his pro debut. First period, Wallach, two on one. Matt Berry centers. Yep, heard that. Mitchell heard his 15th goal of the season. Toledo grabs the 1 0 lead. Late in the first, still 1 0. Randy Gazzola, patiently waiting, finds Berry in front. Puck poked free. Jesse Mitchin with the goal. Toledo up by two. Second period, lead down to one. Fuels Anthony Gagnon on the breakaway. Driscoll making the save. Fish still in front. Later in the second, Walleye back in the attack. Barry sets it up. John Albert over to Ryan Lowney. Top shelf, and it's back to a two-goal lead, but the fuel not going away. Under five to go in the second, it's tied. Chad Yetman, his third point of the night for Indy, moved to the third period. It's that same line. Mitchin shot a net rebound on the crease, and Hurd slams it home. Walleye back in front. Barry's fourth assist. Hurd's second goal. That's the game winner. Mitchin, the Gordy Howe hat trick. Driscoll, 37 saves in the victory. Well, he had a couple of ESPN top uh, top 10 saves there too with a stick. So, uh, like we talked about before, he's a competitor. Uh, he doesn't quit on pucks. He's he continually tracks and 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 follows that puck and makes sure that it's not going to go behind him. And, and I thought he was excellent in his pro debut. You know what? We got those two goal leads, and they just kept fighting back and. Uh, had they had a great response there in the second tie of the game and and uh, you know I heard he with a, a big goal there in the third uh, you know that line was buzzing all night long just playing heavy playing hard and uh, you know they they came to work tonight you know who also came to work tonight Matt Melzek and cleared out all right thanks back out here at the Huntington Center nice win tonight for the Toledo walleye and they got it done with a team that's that's scrapping clawing fighting Kept coming back down a couple of goals twice, the Indy Fuel. Toledo found a way to scratch a claw win th themselves tonight. They did, and Indy is dangerous right now. They came back after trailing 2 nothing last night in Wheeling and won in overtime, and it kind of looked like they were on their way to do that in the second period today. Again, they're playing for playoff hopes. They're playing to keep their season alive past that April 16th mark, and so they were putting a little extra on it, but Toledo able to hold strong, and my gosh, Zach Driscoll in goal. What more could you ask for for your pro debut? No question about it. A couple of highlight reel saves. His energy after the game when he was one of the three oh, yeah. stars <laughs> was, was a thing of beauty tonight, wasn't it? It was. I mean, we're used to seeing that out of Mitchell Hurd who comes out all fired up, but it was really, really cool to see just, again, what a moment for that young man. His first professional game to play the way he played and then get recognized it get recognized for it by the fans. That's a moment he'll remember forever. Yeah, and Toledo with still just two games. Remember, they have eight games left on the season, Claire. Six of those are on the road. Just two left at home, including tomorrow. So, you, yep, you kind of want to get a couple more here at the Huntington Center. That's why this game was important going in and finishing it off with a win. Coming off of last night, too, to finish your last kind of home series of the regular season to end the year will be huge for Toledo. Yeah, certainly. They've got six games consecutive coming on the roll, but one more still at home this weekend, and that's tomorrow against Kalamazoo.